How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of get started and how to use Open HUD and kind of like what it all does. So uh, let's just jump straight into it. All right, so uh, we're basically going to be following this getting started section on the GitHub page. But anyway, to actually get everything going, you have to actually install the app first. So there's two different ways you can go about doing this. If you want to make any changes to the HUD, it does use Electron, um, so you can mess with it however you want, edit it to your heart's desire. Uh, by doing that, you just download the source code right here. You can code it down. You can download the zip however you want to do that. But most people are going to just want to use the app itself. So we are going to go over here to Releases, and we're going to download the latest release. I recommend doing the zip file. It's a little bit easier. So I will download that, and if we go back here to the main GitHub page, we'll see step one complete. Download the latest zip and unzip it. Okay, so let's open up the folder. Okay, so this is going to be what it looks like. It says when unpacked. I'm going to go ahead and just drag that to the desktop. Looks like it's going to be right here. Okay, so now that we have that on the desktop. The next step is to copy the game state integration open HUD file from the zip to your actual game files. Uh, hopefully you already know where your game files are, but if not, I will show you how to do it real quick. So open up the folder, go to resources, go to source, assets, and right here we have a game state integration underscore open HUD. It is a CFG file, so if you've ever used uh, Counter-Strike files like to make like an auto exec or something of that nature uh, you already know how, where to put it so I will show you where mine is this is probably gonna be kinda generally where most people's are so we're gonna go this PC C drive program files 86 go down to Steam Steam apps common Counter-Strike game CSGO CFG so you are going to paste in that game state integration file right in here. I already have it pasted in right here. And then once you do that, you're good to go for that step. Next thing, uh, we are going to launch openhud.exe and we are going to run it CS2 in windowed full screen mode. So first things first, let's get openhud opened up and ran. Uh, this pop-up will probably pop up, just, I repeated myself there, but just hit run anyway. I promise you it's safe. This pops up as well, allow access, because we are we basically have a server running in the background while this is uh, just sitting here, and that server is going to send game data to not only this admin panel, but also the HUD itself. So basically, once you're at this point, you're pretty much done. You're not going to have... Uh, you're not going to have any teams or players in yours when you first download it. Um, the actual database for this is stored in your, what is it, your percent app data percent. So hit, go to run, percent app data percent, and then you can go to, where is it, open HUD, and you have a database file right there. If you wanted to know where that was, that is where it is. Okay, so... It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you're going to want to create a team. Pretty easy. Just put in a team name. You can put a short name. I don't think it's really used for anything right now. That's more of a future-proofing thing. You can put a country if you'd like. But the only two things that are required are a team name and a team logo. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and hit Submit. Create your team. If you want players, it's the same process. Uh, to you, You'll just, like, if you want players to have pictures, you got to do uh, the same sort of thing. Players only need a username and they need a Steam ID. And the Steam ID is like the main one because you need to it, it needs the Steam ID to link the pictures to the person in the game. Uh, in kind of a sim simple way of putting it. But anyway, I'm not really gonna go too much into players because that's pretty self-explanatory as well. Next thing up is just creating your match. Uh, you just go ahead and create a match. You need to have at least two teams made to actually be able to create it, or else you will not be able to do it. So create two teams, 
and just go ahead. Like all this is self-explanatory. If we want G2 versus boss, we're going to have a best of three, and then we're going to do some vetoes. Now, a little um, word to the wise here, if you don't want to do every single veto, the only vetoes that pop up on the HUD are going to be picks and decider maps. Uh, the the bands, um, it, it is probably still a good idea to do your bands, but they don't show up on the on the HUD itself. It's just the picks and the deciders. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Make your match, do your vetoes. I will show you guys this one just as an example. But once you have it created, you just hit the start button. That's going to have the match going live. It'll show you the score. You have s some um, interaction. This is for like the series. So like if if G two wins map one and then boss wins map two can up them like that it should automatically do it uh i have i have functions in place so that it does that for you but just in case you need to change it or fix it for some reason that happens that's what those buttons here are for steam id for coaches this is a newer thing hopefully face it will fix their coach the way they do their coaches soon so that we can remove this but basically if you need to hide a player in the hud you just put their steam id right there click add and it'll add it to them, and then it'll hide them in the HUD. Now over here to the right, as you can see, I only did the picks and decider. If you had bands, there would obviously be bands showing here too. I just did not do bands. Uh, the reverse side button is kind of important. You So like if you're in the game as, as of the recording, hopefully this will be fixed sometime in the future. I will probably have a way to automatically determine which team should be on which side. However, for the time being, or if you need to switch this at any point, uh, if, the, if the sides are reversed in your HUD, just go ahead and click this button to reverse the side. You just gotta make sure you're on the right map to do so. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now that our match is live, we are good to go. Uh, I will go ahead and open Counter-Strike real quick. Okay, so now that I have Counter-Strike loaded and ready to go the only other thing we have to remember is make sure you switch your display mode to be full screen windowed because the app um, the the overlay does not go into the game itself it is a window that sits on top of counter-strike so you need to make sure that this is in full screen windowed mode okay so now that we are in full screen windowed let's go ahead and bring up a demo or a demo is going to be used for testing for the most part. If um, if you need to like, if you're customizing your HUD or whatever you want to do for that, uh, or you can just join a match as a spectator. Those are the two ways you're going to send data to your HUD. Otherwise, they're not going to, they are not going to receive any data. So we're going to hit play demo, and I have an ancient match already here. Okay. So now that we are in the match. Everything should be pretty good to go. Let me close those things real quick. And the best way to test uh, to make sure you're actually receiving data is to go to the dashboard. I will probably have more options in the future. As of right now, I just have players connected. Normally, if you're not in a game server, which actually I can just go ahead and show you real quick. Um, if I refresh it, I think... It will show, yeah, so you are normally going to see not connected to a server, but once we actually get into a server or a demo, you will see that it switches on it. Okay, so basically, now you are all ready to go. Uh, all you got to do is launch the overlay. Make sure you're in full screen windowed or you're going to have some problems, and here we go. Overlay's all good and working. This is my desktop that you are seeing right now. Uh, you should probably have a some sort of uh, CFG file for when you are doing this observing with a custom HUD. If you don't have one already, I'll probably make one for people to use. Mine is just called observe, and that is going to hide the HUD, the the radar, all that stuff from in game, and keep the only the kill feed. That's the only thing that I believe is kept. It does some other things too, mine specifically. Uh, and yeah, so if if you're just observing, that's that's pretty much all you got to do. It's pretty simple, nice and easy. I can show you real quick if we need to switch sides. So let's let's say boss is actually on that side. I'm just going to go here to match. We're on ancient. 
and then I am just going to reverse the side. You can see up top that it is reversing the teams up there. Um, and yeah, now really the only thing we have to set up is the actual stream itself. So to get the game or to get the HUD in OBS specifically. So give me one second, I'll load up a new OBS window and we'll look into that. So now that we have OBS open, you will see that once you have ran that uh, config file for hiding the radar and everything, you're not gonna have anything on OBS itself. Now the way to fix that is to go over to your sources, click add, browser, we'll call this custom HUD or whatever you wanna name it. And then we're gonna change the URL to be localhost 1349 slash HUD. Then for width, 1920, height, 1080, and then make sure you get rid of all this custom CSS. Hit OK, and bada bing, bada boom. Your overlay, overlay is good to go on OBS, and you can bring that to your other screen. You can have the overlay on your desktop, and that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much all you have to worry about. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Join the Discord, the community Discord. Uh, there, there should be a channel for bugs, suggestions, a general chat, and uh, we're, we're pretty active in there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy using OpenHUD, and have a nice day.